Hi Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at how to set up an FTP client. Now if you're new to WordPress or you're new to uh, theme customization, you'll need to access the files in your theme. And normally you'll be looking at accessing the files in your child theme because any changes you make to your child theme won't be lost when your parent theme or WordPress updates. So there's different ways you can access the code and the different files in your child theme. You can use File Manager in cPanel, um, or you can use FTP, or you could even uh, use the editor in your WordPress dashboard. But the problem is if you use the editor in your WordPress dashboard, which you'll find under Appearance, Editor, if you make a mistake, you, your site's going to go white. You're going to suffer what they call the white screen of death. So it's not the best uh, practice to do that. Changing the, the CSS by your theme editor is fine, but when it comes to the PHP code, you're better off using FTP in case you make a mistake. So... Uh, this is a, a very basic uh, guide on how to uh, set up FTP and uh, I'm not going to show you how to download and install an FTP client. You'll find in my post here there's four or five different links to different FTP clients. Um, I use File, FileZilla, um, so all, all you really need to do is go to Google, uh, search for FileZilla depending on what sort of platform you're using, Windows or Mac, uh, you can download a copy of the software and you just install it. And once you've got FileZilla up and running, here's what it looks like. So we'll just get out of that screen there, and here's the FileZilla screen, and this is what it looks like on a Mac computer. So basically on the left-hand side here, we've got our, all our files on our desktop. So... Um, if you go down here to desktop and you find desktop, you'll find all the files on desktop. So uh, if we take a look here, we can see um, here backup. This is one folder I've got on my desktop. And if we go over to the desktop there, you'll see that that's backup there. So all these folders and files are on the left side of the screen here. So FTP, once you connect it to your server, enables you to upload files and folders from your local computer or your desktop to your live server. But what we need to do is we need to set up an account in FTP. Um, and the first thing you need to do is create an FTP account on your server. So um, depending on who you host with, that will vary. So let's... Uh, I host with Bluehost for my smaller sites, my main sites on WP Engine. So uh, let's just use a, I'll just use a small site in this example, which is hosted on Bluehost. So we'll go to Bluehost, and you've got to log in. Now once you log in, there's quite a few options here. Now what you want to do is find uh, server or file management. Here we are. So it's just here. So we go to FTP manager and we need to get the FTP login details. Now if your host has already provided them or you know your cPanel login details, which you would know to log into your Bluehost account, you can add them to FileZilla directly. But let's just set up uh, an FTP account. Uh, there is already two existing accounts here. But let's, uh, let's delete the old one I tested previously and we'll set up a new one. Um, we'll just call this uh, WP Sites. So now we need to choose a password. We'll use a password generator. Let's copy this. Use password. Okay. Um, 
Now we need to set up a path. So let's just save this password first. So we'll need that to log in. And we need to set up a path. So let's just put uh, public HTML in here. Public HTML. Create FTP account. So the FTP account is created. And here it is here. Uh, configure FTP a client. Right. So what we can do now is we can take this information and we can create a new entry in, in file manager in uh, FileZilla. So what we do is we'll take the uh, the FTP server name, open up FileZilla, we go to File, Site Manager, New Site. Uh, call it anything you like. You can just put in the uh, the name there. Now we need to put this information in um, into the host uh, port number. You can leave that blank at the moment. Uh, the username we need to take the username. Port port number will be twenty one, so it shows you that. Uh, let's go to the username anonymous login type normal. Username, we've got the username, and let's grab that password we saved. So we'll put that in. Now we've got a few options here for encryption. Uh, this will vary depending on which host you're using. For, for demonstration purposes, we'll just use plain FTP, which is insecure. So you should really be using uh, SFTP. So uh, find out from your host. Port 21, connect. So now we're connected to our live server and you can see on the right hand side here, these are all the files hosted on the live server and these are your standard WordPress files. And you go down here, we've got WP content, which is the directory that you'd normally go into to find your theme. And on the left side, as previously uh, indicated, we've got all the, uh, the local files and folders and the local system. So to upload a file is very, very simple. We choose the location firstly. So we're going to WP content, our themes. And here is a live site. It's, it's one of my own personal sites. So we can open up that. It's built on the Agent Press Pro theme by Studio Press, which runs on Genesis. And, um, and let's just have a look here. Rather than upload a file, let's just make some changes to the footer credits. So if we open up the site here and uh, we see the footer credits here, these are the standard footer credits that come with the Studio Press theme. We've got the name of the theme built on Genesis Framework. There's always a link to WordPress and a login link. So let's just change these. So I've got some code. So once you decide on what code you need, grab the code. And we'll just paste that into the file. So right click on the functions file, click on view edit. And we'll go down to the end of the file and we'll just paste this code at the end of the file. Okay, now once we've pasted the code, let's save the changes to that file. And refresh the site. Now we have to make the changes, finish editing, delete local file. Okay. So this will just upload the changes now. And then we'll refresh the site and see what the changes are. Now there's an error. Now you're going to get one of these errors at some stage if you're new to uh, editing code. And the reason there's an error is because when I copied the code, 
I copied this opening PHP tag and you should never copy that from a file. There's always one at the start of the file and if you're copying code snippets you'll find that they also include an opening PHP tag. So what we do is we only need the code, we don't need the opening PHP tag. So we go back into that file, click on view edit, scroll, to, scroll down to the bottom of the functions file and we see that opening PHP tag, just remove that. So here's our code and this code modifies the foot of credits. So let's save those changes and we'll wait for this pop-up here on, uh, on our local system. Finish editing, click yes, and that'll uh, upload the changes to the file. So now if we go back to the site and refresh, it should load. And there we have it, it's loaded, and it's changes, changed those footer credits there in the footer of the file. So that's that's pretty much a basic uh, uh, a basic guide to how to use FTP. Um, the installation of an FTP client's your responsibility. You'll need to choose one. FileZilla is is very very common. It's a very popular uh, client, but there are many others. Um, it's very easy to download and install uh, FileZilla, and when, once you get it up and running, uh, you can play around a bit with. Uh, transferring files and downloading files. Um, if we wanted to download a copy of this file that we've just edited, uh, let's just click on the file, right click and just click download and this will download to the location we set here. So in this case it's the desktop. So let's download a copy of that. Finished. And let's just look at our, uh, our local installation. And we can see here, here's an exact copy of the uh, file we just edited on the server. So you can see the changes we made there to the footer credits. So, uh, and if you want to download your entire theme, we can just go back to themes, agent press pro, download, and we can download the entire theme folder and keep a copy of that. So uh, that's not a bad idea when you make changes to your theme. And um, so it's as simple as that. So that's all there is today. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time on WPSites.net. Cheers.